Hello and welcome to my channel. Welcome back for my State of Decay playthrough. This is going to be episode number 10. And first of all, I would like to uh, say thank you to the people that have joined me on both Twitch uh, and YouTube. Uh, so thank you for subscribing to my channel. That really means a lot to me. And yeah, that means you're enjoying... Uh, enjoying the show and enjoying seeing me play and struggle and and all the good stuff so yeah that gives me uh, more motivation to just keep doing what I'm doing and keep recording so you can see what you want to see so um yeah yesterday was even a, a longer episode I, I, I'm really trying to keep it short but yeah I am I am so hooked to this this is this is so cool to, to be doing so I was like I don't know I, I just you know with the uh, with the chat uh, chat room just you know being full of uh, full of comment uh, com uh, comments and all that and questions yeah that is just you know just lose track of time so <laughs> but I haven't had any complaints yet about it on YouTube uh, about people saying well you should actually keep uh, the recordings a bit shorter so yeah that's all right I'll just uh, I'll just leave it like that. I don't uh, I don't mind. So um, let's start with uh, setting up our traps around the base and start preparing for a feast. And I can actually start making some ammo. So definitely gonna be making some 40 mils. That is one of the top priorities at my list right now. Um, some flame for gas. Uh, don't have enough medicine yet, so basically I'm I'm really uh, going to scavenge for uh, for medication and 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 building material. That is absolutely something that I need to get done. Uh, let's f start up the training schedules and all that. Uh, potent homemade stems. E Eh, yeah. let's start with the chemical incendiaries. Yeah, let's do that. Um, and let's just do that. Oh, also, I uh, I, I watched back uh, the end of uh, part eight, as I stated at the beginning of uh, part nine, that I had more food. That was actually not true. I I thought I had uh, gained more food but uh, obviously I did not but uh, that doesn't mean that I was entirely wrong it, it still can happen but um, let's see if there's uh, I'll keep filled I, I, I should really uh, uh, let you see that when uh, when I actually have enough construction material and stuff so that we can actually keep up the maintenance during uh, my off time and uh, yeah it's, that that then I can show you that you can actually gain food as well. I think it's three per outpost, so it's not really that much, but yeah, it should work. It's it's no biggie. All right, let's see what we all have on the map. We got a missing survivor. Oh, well, we should start with that. Now we got combat training. We got another scavenger, and we got a Z hunt. All right, well, let's start out with the missing person. Just, uh, yeah, just to kick off this series again. Let's do it. Time to check this out. And, uh, yeah, if you're watching this live on uh, on my Twitch, uh, you can always post any questions that you might have and put them uh, in the chat, and I'll uh, I'll get uh, I'll get to them uh, as they come along. Uh, otherwise, if you missed this episode, you can still watch it back on uh, on my YouTube channel. Uh, that, that would be uh, youtube.com slash MacDutch and if it and you know you can put your questions in there as well just leave them in the comment sections below and uh, I'll uh, I'll answer them as soon as I can so uh, let's see escort the survivor did I find him I thought this was empty Uh, 
I did not mean to do that. I'm I'm back. Escort the survivor? Who did I just pick up? Um I'm confused. I have never seen anything like this before. This is this is this is something new for me. I there is absolutely no survivor here. That's weird. Yeah, you can hear all you want. There you go. Yeah, so I'm um, I'm confused, but yeah, let's let's just see where this brings us. That is so weird. <laughs> Brought stranger home. Yeah, this is this is not right. This is not right. I managed to find stranger and get them home safe and sound. Well, that's weird. Oh well. <laughs> that's just how this game rolls sometimes. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna try and get the uh the achievement. Uh ah, here we go, slasher flick, I got it. Alright. Uh so that should give me a new option. Collectible blades. A collection of masterfully crafted blades delivered directly to your supply locker. Ah, that's a bit bummer. I was actually hoping to get a, a, another a survivor like the demolition expert. Uh, but yeah, let's check it out. I want to see what, uh, w what else it brings. So let's do that first. Uh, so... As I showed yesterday with the, uh, the fire equipment tool, the firefighter tools, uh, there's some some uh, six six types of axes and stuff coming in. So let's see. Um, so this was the last one, and All right, let's see what we got. We got a Viking sword, which is a level 3, 1.2 pounds. Level 3, 1.3 pound. Hey, hey, Callum, how you doing? Uh, welcome to my channel, dude. Um, let's see. Uh, this is a... Uh, oh, this is the vampire. Ah, this is... <laughs> I know where this is going. For any daywalker, yeah. Have you seen the movie Blade with uh, Wesley Snipes? Uh, yeah, he's a vampire slayer. Well, he's a daywalker, but he slays evil vampires and stuff. So this is uh, <laughs> this is uh, just one of those uh, sneaky little Easter eggs that's in the in the game. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, we got a wolf sword replica of the of a popular TV show. Now there I go because I'm from Holland. Um, uh, so, uh, I might be missing the point here. Something about a wolf show or something. I don't know. So, if you guys know what this is uh, referring to, uh, please let me know. Uh, this is the Spartan Sword. Well, I don't need an explanation for that. This is a level 4 weapon. 1.9 pounds. That's good. Uh, we got an Orc Sword. <laughs> uh, effective movie replica. Uh, uh, seeing how it is shaped, I... I would say this is an Easter egg referring to Lord of the Rings. And we got a Hell Child, also a weapon level 4, 2 pounds. A well crafted movie replica sword. I'm not sure from which movie this is, not at the moment. Uh, Callum is uh, asking in, uh, in the chat, uh, you, you, you just dropped it just a tiny bit too late. Um, I was I was explaining that I was gonna try and get the uh, the monthly achievement for this month, uh, which is Slasher Flick. Uh, this is an Xbox uh, One uh, achievement only. It's not on on Steam, unfortunately. 
Um, so if I uh, would uh, uh, kill 200 zombies uh, with edged weapons before the end of the month, uh, then I would get a reward. I was actually hoping to get a uh, to get a new survivor type, which I could call like the demolitions expert. But uh, I got the uh, collectible blades, and uh, and and that just brings six new weapons. So yeah, I'm gonna try some of them out. I really want to to try this one. <laughs> Two point four. That's uh, actually unfortunate, but. I mean, I'm carrying 4.2 together for two level 3 weapons, so I'll just put those in. And yeah, let's get the Orc Sword out. Let's see how that works. And those hordes are going to get taken care of. Uh, combat training, Z Hunt, and Skull. Scavenger. So what I'll do, I'll do the combat training and I'll try to get some uh, uh, construction materials as well. Um, with all this commotion I even forgot where I parked. <laughs> and I've got two more viewers, welcome to my channel. Um, I just unlocked the, uh, uh, the monthly achievement. Hold on. There we go. Let's see how this orc sword. Yeah, this definitely looks mean. Yeah, this is definitely one of those swords from Lord of the Rings. Those 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 devilish looking orc swords. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, um, I I finally unlocked the the, the challenge uh, actually with my first kill today. So. Um, that means I had the collectible blades uh, in my phone, uh, so I, I just called it and I got six new blades and uh, and this is one of them. And uh, yeah, really liking it. It uh, seems to be a decent weapon, it's a level 4. So yeah, I'll definitely be slashing with this for a while. I'll uh, definitely try out the others as well. Yeah, I know, Lily. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll uh, train everybody up as soon as I can. No worries. Uh, Callum is also saying, if you're wondering why you got the 2x4 and etc., sometimes they appear after the game is simulated. Yeah. Um, well, actually, uh, this this guy, uh, when you call him, uh, the demolitions expert, uh, he comes with those two-edged weapons. Uh, uh, by itself, so he, he just brings them along, um, which is actually not that bad. I mean, you know, they're both level three. Um, hold on, I need to concentrate on this. Otherwise, I'll just keep crashing and putting my cars in ditches and stuff. <laughs> We've all seen that happen, right, one way or another. Anyway, um, yeah, but but you you do get some stuff when the game is in simulation mode, you know, when you go offline, the simulation will kick in and your survivors will start doing stuff on their own. Uh, I've already explained this uh, uh, in some of the previous episodes, so you can watch them back also on uh, on my YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, basically uh, what happens, is, uh, I've, I've completely detailed, oh, there's a feral. Let's go, let's go. Take him out. Oh, you're too fast. There you go. <laughs> yeah, dummy. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've explained it uh, 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 in detail in the beginning of part 9. So that was yesterday's episode. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the uh, locker in your base will get cluttered that way. Uh, when, when people start to, uh, to wander off during the simulation time. Uh, I overshot it, didn't I? Yeah, I'm talking. And let's see what happens. I haven't even been playing like for what ten minutes? Nah, not even. Uh, yeah. Let's try and stick with the program right now. Let's see who needs some training. Evan Barbera. All right, let's. Well, let's do go this. somewhere else. No point in drawing more of them here. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, you're going. 
You're not going to Spencer's Mill. That's really unfortunate. Oh well. After we're done, I'm gonna go to Spencer's Mill and get some stuff that I really, really, really need for uh, paying for my daily maintenance for my base. Um. I'm up to date with your videos, so that's good. <laughs> well, thanks, Callum. That's that's always good to know. Um, um, yeah, funny thing is, um, after I record it and, and uploaded it to YouTube, uh, that's uh, when I also start watching them back. So I am up to date myself as well. Um, there were a couple of things I forgot to write them down that I actually uh, saw that I forgot to mention or did not explain clearly. So I have to watch back yesterday's episode again uh, but yeah I'll be happy to do that anyway and uh, I still find some time to follow uh, Red Monkey, Wayne uh, also known as Zombie Kitty and um, yeah, and all the other all, all the other players out there that is uh, doing all the good stuff on YouTube um, actually I, uh, I recently put a list of the most uh, popular channels uh, they're not all there but it's at least uh, a good uh, a good amount of uh, of people out there banger bang gaming and lucas and uh english bull uh so you should you should check out my channel oh i just I hit a bloater that's no good um but yeah, I've, I've uh, put that list up, so if you go to my main page on YouTube, on the right side of the channel, you can see a, a list there. It's actually bigger than it would show, so you can expand it as well, see the rest of the channels. But yeah, definitely give those guys uh, some of your time, and um, subscribe to them if you haven't done that already, and uh, yeah, let's keep it moving. Zombie horde alerted. And now they're dead. Alright, let's get out. And start some shooting, come on. Time to see how well you can shoot. If you got one, attach a suppressor to muffle the sound. Yeah, you go shoot and I'll have a look. Oh nice. There's nothing worse than trying to take a shot with an yep. empty magazine. That's good. I'll take that with me. Coming in with a full pack. Pretty good teacher. Well, there was nothing to shoot, so I can't really blame you. All right, this needs to go. Care of out there. Do what you can. I know, Lily, and I'm gonna g take care of the. Uh... Oh, I, don't, I didn't bring any meds, did I? No, I didn't. Shoot. Well, I guess that means I gotta go back first, anyway. Yeah, let's do that first because if I'm gonna lose Milo, well, I'm actually curious if I. What are you doing, sir? Get off. Thank you. I'm actually wondering, um, I'm, I mean, I'm not going to willingly try unless I'm about to move to uh, the next level. But yeah, I'm kind of curious, because since I have Milo right now, I can't uh, call for him uh, with the uh, demolitions expert. But yeah, should he die and I'm still in the same uh, breakdown level, I'm kind of curious if you can call him again. I mean, yeah, it, it, it wouldn't really make any sense, but uh, it would also uh, ease the pain a bit if you should ever lose him. Although, I guess if you can, but you've already trained him up, uh, you'll start with uh, basic uh, Milo again, I guess. But, yeah, we'll see how, how that goes. I mean, if, if he should get killed, I'll try and see if I can, uh, I can call for him again. See how that goes. So, yeah, unless somebody's already tried it, you know, uh, if, if you have, um, yeah, just let me know in the comment what happens and uh, and I'll relay that to, uh, to my viewers as well. Or still demonstrate, I might, might as well just do that, I don't know yet. I guess it all depends on how things develop. So... I need to bring some meds because I can't I can't even heal right now. 
kick off some stuff at the base and then I'll be going to Spencer's Mill to really get this scavenging started and then I'll get back to the missions unless something really important pings of course um let's put the rival in the ammo in um I don't think I've got more incendiary ammo no I don't still don't have any big backpacks all right um Let's take some tosin out. Take one in. Um, yeah, we should be fine for now. That's fine. Uh, let's see. Making some f more 40 mils. Start to. Oh, 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 oh. yeah, there you go. Haha, <laughs> I saw you. Actually, this is also good. Good time to switch out to another weapon. Just to see how they uh how they all uh handle. So let's try the um, Vampire Slayer. Yeah, let's try that one. Let's see how that goes. Hey, G-Force! Welcome back, dude. I uh, I managed to unlock the uh, the uh, achievements for October, so I got a new uh, thing: collectible blades. It's uh, when you call it, you get six new blades, and I'm actually trying them out one by one right now. So, yeah, uh, let's take the uh, scenic route. And uh, yeah, I first tried the uh, the orc sword, orcish sword, and it it is actually a prop from uh, uh, Lord of the Rings, you know, Fellowship of the Ring and uh, Return of the King and the Two Towers. Uh, yeah, so that that's really nice. It it it's really it's well not really really detailed, but yeah, the shape and all it it it's so recognizable. It's cool. It's really cool. So uh, yeah, now I'm bringing the other one. It's uh, it's a prop from the uh, Blade movies with Wesley Snipes. Um, I haven't killed any zombies with it yet. I'm about to. So let's see how that one works. So yeah, welcome back to my channel, dude. And I must say, uh, like I said in the beginning, uh, thank you so much for my subscribers. And my followers here on Twitch, it, it really means a lot to me. And uh, that means that you guys enjoy what you're seeing. You're willing to give me uh, a chance to prove myself that, you know, even though I'm fairly new to Twitch and, and YouTube, that, you know, I, I can be one of the one of the, the big guys. I mean, I'm not going to say that I'm going to be majorly big, although that would be nice, but uh, would also bring a lot of... Uh, 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 time spending, which I do not really have at the moment, but yeah, well, with greatness uh, comes great responsibility, right, or something like that. That is one of the movie phrases from uh, Spider-Man. Uh, yeah, I'm a movie geek. I uh, I really am. We got some materials here. We got nothing there, and that's it. All right. Well, I'm not going to call for scavengers. Not all the way out here. I'll just take this. Rucksack's full. So and let's go. We'll be ready. Uh, the uh, back end is over here. Just telling myself where I should put my stuff. Oh well. <laughs> I guess that comes with age, right? All right. Let's go. Here there is usually some building materials or even some fuel. Of course, when I want to show it, there's nothing there, right? Yeah, it actually says it's nothing left. Never mind. Let's just get out. This sword looks awesome. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, this is this is definitely um, Wesley Snipes' sword in the Blade movies. This is this is absolutely nice. 
Wow. Yeah. Too bad you can't uh, do his uh, signature move, you know, when he turns around and uh, drags it around on the ground. Oh, that would be so awesome if you could do that. Uh, but yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm drooling. I admit it, I'm, I'm a small child right now. <laughs> oh, see? Oh man, I'm so so distracted. But yeah, yeah, I'm I'm really digging the new swords. That's that's uh, absolutely fantastic. Uh, yeah, we can use some methadone. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, we got some meds. That's cool. We got some more methadone. And yeah, I'll just take these with me. I'm I'm gonna need them to uh, manufacture some of the. Uh, Homemade painkillers. Um, oh, that's not a very good chance. Good idea right now to get distracted. Come on, let's do this. There you go. Ah, uh, you can just, you know, try and catch me if you can. Nah, 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 nah. And this should be the last one. Let's get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> Brainless as they are. They just go into the building because they saw me just get in there and <laughs> circumvent their uh, their attacks like that. I like it. It's it's really well done. They just, you know, they followed the noise or where, you, where they last saw you. So I am going to scavenge here for materials no you don't ouch let go that's not nice that's not ladylike you lady zombie you there we go and Callum is saying something but let me check this real quick ah nice 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 Hold on, something. Yeah, there we go. Uh, going for my tea, be back in about 10 minutes. Hopefully you don't miss much. Well, anyway, you know, you're uh, you're also following me on uh, on YouTube, so should you miss anything, you know, <laughs> you can watch it back. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's cool. Go ahead, enjoy your tea, get your don't things done. I mean, it's only a game, right? It's not that major big of a deal. Nah, I'm full. Let's just bring this back and come back later. I need a rest. Yeah, you do. But not now. Let's go. So, yeah. Um, we'll see you in about 10 minutes, dude. That's okay. So, uh, G-Force, what have you been up to today? Um, just you know, curious just to see what my what my followers and, and subscribers do on their you know on their day off on a Saturday, if you have the day off, of course that is. In the meantime, well, actually, there's not too much to tell. Actually, uh, I could start telling you about my day, but. That's not that interesting. I uh, slept uh, until like 2 p.m. somewhere ish. Um, get out, did my stuff, you know, get my uh, my breakfast or brunch. I should I should probably call it brunch, right? Um, I got that done and did some stuff at the house and. Um, Actually, I, I wanted to get some groceries, but I didn't feel like it, so I'll be doing that tomorrow. Uh, and yeah, that's basically my day. Just uh, kicking it off until uh, it was 8 p.m. so I could start broadcasting. And of course, I didn't make that time either, because uh, my mom needed me for something. So I had to help her out, so that's why I was a little bit late as well today, but that's all right. I did, I did notice, though, that when I started up my Twitch that... Uh, Callum, you were already uh, in my uh, in, in, in my channel waiting for for my broadcast. That that that's that's really that that really uh, gets to me. That's that's so good to see. How's it going? How's it going? 
Um. Back with supplies. Yeah. Mm, what you got? All right. Let's... This bag's really fucking heavy. Oh. So how about a thank you? Oh come on, Milo. You can be a little bit nicer than that. <laughs> but yeah, I like this Milo guy. He's he's, he's awesome. There you go. Um, it all in one place. Yeah, let's put My the methadone hero. in. And actually, let's get the last ibuprofen to do that. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to check out one of the other swords right now. Um, let's see, what have we still to try? Hey, well, let's do the Hell Child. Some of them probably got already picked uh, picked up by uh, other survivors, I think. I didn't see them. So, Hell Child. Uh, I'm sure this is from some other movie, because they all seem to be movie props. But, um, yeah, if, if somebody knows where Hell Child and, and, and that blade, if, if it looks familiar to you, if you can tell me which movie that is. Um, I'm definitely going to check it out if I haven't already. If I if I already seen the movie, I probably just don't recognize it. And, hey, here we go. We got Asu Michin. I still hope I'm pronouncing that correct, dude. If I'm not, I'm really, really sorry. Hi, this blade is good, but cutting machine is the best five star. I expect better, honestly. Well, you know, you gotta you gotta understand it's it's only a bonus, and it is not even uh, uh, available for the players on Steam, so it shouldn't be really something uh, that that much uh, better or whatever. It's just a nice addition to the game. Um, at least that's how I see it. Although I uh, I heard yesterday that uh, since I missed up the uh, missed the, uh, the the cleanup spring cleanup achievement in May, uh, there was a cleaner car, which was a sturdy car which could actually just mow and mow and mow through all the zombies and not really get damaged. So yeah. Well then again, maybe maybe these blades could have been better. I don't know. I'm just glad that I have them anyway, and uh, I, I just hope that the uh, the May achievement comes back. But uh, yeah, uh, but yeah, you you could have expected better, I guess. You know, to me, it's not really really that important, especially because you can you can just you know if they if they start to uh, to break down on you, you can just you know repair them and just keep on going. Um, he also says that he started level seven. And have a lot of mess. Zombies is much more aggressive. Yep, that's true. Uh, I don't know how long I'll survive. Well, that just depends on how well you did prepare. Um, uh, like I said, I, I played on the uh, on the original Steam, and uh, it was it was you know it wasn't really really easy, but it wasn't like uh, anything uh, you wouldn't be able to manage. Um, Thinking about where the construction site is, I already know. It's right up here. Uh, but yeah, um, it wasn't really that tough. Um, but you did notice the increase uh, in difficulty in the in the levels uh, uh, increase. Um, so yeah, I wasn't really. Uh, I'll pull it to. This one has to go. Uh, so I actually managed to, to get to, I think it was level 12 or maybe 13, I don't know, um, somewhere along those, uh, along those lines anyway. Where? Oh, here you are. Alright, come back out, that's fine. Edge weapons level 5. Oh, I should, I should check. Yep. Got low slice. Yeah, let's get the low slice. I like this one because then you can just. Whoa. Come on, boys. There. And that way you, they just stay on the floor and um, they will not be able to catch you anymore, and after a while they just die. So you can even do that with the armored Zets sometimes, not always. 
But, oh well. But yeah, so th this is like the, uh, w when you're a powerhouse, you can use the, uh, the pro wrestling to get uh, rid of some of the enemies if you're really surrounded. And w when you get edged weapons. Coming in with a full pack. Yeah, I, I saw you coming. Uh, you can just, you know, uh, just like that with the edge weapons, you, you always have a, some sort of move that you can use to, uh, to give yourself a little bit of space. When you've got heavy weapons, you can actually swing your weapon around. Um, although, it doesn't work as well as it did in the original State of Decay. Um, yeah, it's, it's not knocking uh, out as many zombies as it, as it used to, so... Oh well, that's just uh, one of the things that they changed, which they thought might balance out the game a bit more or make it more challenging, I don't know. I'm not one of the developers, so I wouldn't know. But, um... Yeah, that's just one of the uh, the edge weapons moves. We ain't clear. Come on, let's do this. More fuel. Time to run this back to base. Roger that. We'll yeah, be just not right now. And great. All right. Let's see. This this is too heavy. Nah. Ten pounds for a heavy weapon. I mean, obviously, that's not gonna work. Let's bring the homemade suppressor. I'm coming in. We'll see you soon. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, didn't cut his legs off, but he will definitely get uh, knocked down, so that's good. I'll uh, I'll take the fuel, I'll leave the uh, construction material in here. Should I need some more? Um, nah, actually I think that's just... Oh, uh, Milo's tired now. Well, I'm not going to snack up just for one or two zombies, that's not what I aim to do. But yeah, I'll just bring these well as well. There's still lots to explore here. There we go. And of course, when I get back to base, I'll switch out to one of the other weapons. If they are still in there. Well, i got absolutely no room anymore. Uh, yeah, because I've only... This is the third new weapon I've tried. So I'm really looking forward to the other ones. If I can still find them, I mean, one of the other survivors might have just taken them out. You know, they do that sometimes, but uh, yeah, no biggie. We'll see. I'll find them. Before I move uh, to the next level anyway, I'm gonna uh, clean out everyone first. You know, so I get their, their stuff and... Uh, so if those weapons are indeed in their inventory, they, they, they will you know, eventually pop up back up, so no problem. But yeah, this 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 might be a little bit of a boring episode. Like like I said, this is mainly now getting the uh, medical. And oh, there we go, another freak. Come on, come on. There you go. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Um, getting the, uh, the the medicine for my for my daily needs and my construction materials, food and fuel and everything that's that's already done. Well, I do take the fuel with me. You know, I might as well because uh, I'm going to be making some incendiary uh, or uh, chemical uh, incendiaries as well, uh, which requires medicine and fuel. So. Uh, but yeah, I've I've got more than enough fuel anyway. It's it's no big deal. Uh, like I said, I don't even want to set up a fuel outpost. It's just a waste of a of a good outpost. You, you might as well just set it up for for food or medicine, because uh, the fuel that you find, especially in the early levels, is more than enough to to get you uh, constructing uh, uh, and preparing for the later levels. So yeah. But uh, yeah, some some other interesting things might happen. So hey, Callum, welcome back. You didn't really miss much, dude. Um, I I just went into Spencer's Mill, 
Uh, I got some stuff and on my way back now. I, I, I am trying out the other one, uh, the third weapon, which is the Hell Child. And it looks it looks awesome. But like I said, the, the name doesn't ring any bell and the shape doesn't ring any bell. I'm 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 a movie geek, but this doesn't really look familiar to me. So if somebody uh recognizes this, tell me which movie it is. And if I haven't watched it I'll I'll definitely uh watch it. And if I've already watched it, I'll just have to watch again just to see where it was that I missed it. Oh whoa. You gotta be careful. Come on. Come on. Back with supplies. My that's hero. that's just weird. Oh well. But yeah, let's uh Found get one of the other knives out. Want. Got anything good? Swords, Got whatever. Full of useful resources. And like I said, if I can't find them, some of some of the other survivors might have already taken them out. Um but we'll find them eventually. No go. big deal. Don't spin it all Let's see. Point. We still have the Spartan sword to try out, and the wolf sword, and the five. Yeah, they're still in there. That's uh, okay. That's cool. Yeah, these can go. This one can go back in. Let's try. Let's try. Well, let's try the Spartan one. Why not? I feel like being a gladiator anyway. So, <laughs> yeah, I wish. Every time when I look in the mirror, I try to convince myself I'm a I'm a gladiator. Uh, and then I think I'm at the fun fair looking at the funny mirrors. <laughs> uh, but that's way beside the point, so let's not get into that. Uh, <laughs> yep, that's uh, definitely uh, not for this channel. I'm trying to keep this PG, so... <laughs> Yeah, you can just put a suck in it. Well, actually, no. I'm gonna get rid of these hordes. Oh, you sure, Lily? We have to take care of some stuff? I mean, I'm the only one doing it, so... You know what? If he's gonna keep climbing the walls, it's not worth my time. Uh, the Wolf Sword is from Witcher 3. Yes, I kind of expected that. Um, but it does make sense. I, I have the Witcher 3, but I, I only played for just a few hours. And um, actually, I, I kind of got stuck. Well, I didn't really get stuck, but because I didn't really spend that much time. Uh, I'm not really sure for all the controls. There's some spell that I should use and make it easier or whatever. But uh, yeah, uh, in the beginning, not giving any spoilers. But there is this winged beast, which I'm not going to name, uh, which you have to kill. Uh, you have to track it down first. Uh, so if you've played the game, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's one of the very first big hunting... Uh, I know you have a actually, it is the very first big sure hunting uh, event. Exactly and uh, when I finally confronted the beast, um, I, he just whooped my ass so many times. And I figured, uh, this is a game that I'll definitely want to check out but uh, when I got more time to do it and of course I'm starting twitch so that's still not gonna happen for a while I suppose all right let's see we need some good old-fashioned homes where there is a sign out there that says for sale and stuff that means we can find some more construction materials um, Or I should just search one by one. I don't know. I don't, oh, juggernaut. Oh, I didn't bring my my grenades or anything with me. I, all right, later. <laughs> Let's do that some other time. Um, but yeah, so I, 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 I did suspect it. I wasn't quite sure, but thanks for pointing it out. And of course, the Spartan one is for the Gladiator movies. That's this one. Are we done yet? No. There we go. Close the door. But yeah, this 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 weapon looks uh, 
Spartan-like, right? I mean, if you've seen the movie The Gladiator, I'm quite sure um, you will recognize this sword. Yeah, we can use some fire. That's that's always good. Oh, well, that's uh, a lot of stuff up here. Yeah, I doubt I'll be finding any construction materials then. But, who knows, we might get lucky still. Let's destroy that. Uh, yeah, and take the snack. What do we have here? We got a weapon and bullets. That's definitely... Oh, I thought he was right behind me. It sounded so close in my ear. <laughs> I thought he was right there. Match weapons level 6. I think that... Just that oh. Hey, hello. Welcome. Just walking through the door again. Um, no, it didn't unlock any more moves. Actually, I think... Now, that's the only special attack that you get. Never mind. We got some food, we got more fire. There's a lot of noise there. Oh, there you are. Bye bye. And some more guns and snack. All right, so this house is right here. Okay, this is where the diner is. So yeah, I'll I'll have to keep this in mind. I'm picking up the weapons later on. Uh, I don't think I have any space. Well, actually I do, but I'm gonna pop some snacks back in there and a fire. I might as well just take them. Yeah, let's do that. Um, there's one in here. Uh, the poker I'm not really interested in. And there we go. 357, yeah, I really need to bring those as well. Um, yeah, let's just pop one stack. Who knows? Who cares? Alright, that should be it for now. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right, next house. Let's... What are you doing, sir? Trying to get some free gas or something? <laughs> you never know. Um, yeah, let's try and see if we can find some more uh, sheds that we can plunder, or just go here. Who knows? We might get lucky. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, if you want me, I'm upstairs. Oh, oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Another one. There you go. Dojo option added temporarily. Good. I actually wanted to check back on my base, so let's do that. We have snacks to make. We've got more 40 mils to make. Uh, we could probably use more of these. Let's make some homemade painkillers. Not interested in fuel. Uh, gain three ammo. Actually, no, I'm not starting any shooting yet. Still don't know who's gonna be my, my gun user. Um, yep, let's try that as well, let you do it. And after the fitness regimen is started up, I'm gonna also be uh, using the community option in there. More of these, more of those, that's good. You know... If we don't help out soon, mm. it may be too late. Do what More you can. food. Yeah, no construction material, right? Nah, never mind. Oh, whoa. Yeah. 
Lots of noise. I'm out. All right, let's just get these stuff back, and we'll take it from there. I guess I'll do some more missions, see if something pings. Oh, missed you. And I kind of missed you again. There we go, horde, zombie horde killed. Oh. And... Yeah, let's also try out uh, some of the new knives as well. Still have the wolf one and uh, what's the other one? Hmm, can't remember. Well, as soon as I see them, I will remember which one I tried and which not. So that'll be fine. I hope we don't regret that missed opportunity. Oh well, I'm. Sorry about the scavenger's mission. Oh well. They'll live. I'm more concerned about getting my stuff done at the base. Getting enough material so I can actually show you guys what happens when you can actually pay all the daily costs. And uh, what benefits that might bring. Oh no 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 no. Oh oh wow I'm lucky. I did it. I did hit it. As you can see, that that is smoke over there, but uh, yeah, I, I'm lucky. I just I scraped it with my uh, with my bumper or whatever, uh, so I didn't get any of the the foul odors in inside. So that's good. Real lucky there. Yeah, if you if you do run uh, through a bloater like that, uh, best way is to just bail out of your vehicle. Because uh, that way you will get rid of the, uh, the the vapors surrounding you, and that doesn't uh, drain your uh, health and stamina anymore. Because the longer you stay in the vapors, the more it'll damage. So that's that's something to keep in mind as well. Um, speaking of Easter eggs, there's a couple of Easter eggs, but uh, I'm I'm not really going into it I mean you know like with the weapon achievements yeah that's fine uh, but if you look at the containers that are actually uh, for Kirkman, uh, Kirkman and, and um, Savini's and all that and where they're all from I'm not really going into that there's lots of youtubers doing that already so uh, unless of course I get specific questions that's that's an entire different story of course but all right, let's get rid of the Spartan, and let's get out, get the wolf, oh, and the Viking, that's it. The famous wolf birth swords. Um, I'm, I'm thinking about what that movie was called. I don't remember, it's a Be Beowulf or something? I think this was one of the swords in that, I could be wrong, but yeah, let's bring it anyway. Uh, yeah, and now we still have this, the wolf sword to do, which is from uh, the Witcher. Yes, yeah, I already hurt you. There we go. I'm not, sh I'm not entirely sure if this is from Beowulf. Um, so yeah, if you uh, if you can help out with that, I'm I'm really wanting to check those out. Uh, from which movie they are. Um, or a game, you know, it could be from a game as well. Like uh, that wolf sword that is supposed to be from The uh, the Witcher 3. And we still need to check that out as well. But for now, yeah, I'm just gonna gather more materials and stuff. Well, actually, I, I did wanna do some of the missions. Well, actually, there's only one left, right? Ah, uh, well, let's do that one. At least it will... Uh, it will also increase my fame a little bit. And we do like fame. Oh, uh, I forgot to uh, to show you uh, GeForce. This is the uh, uh, the the landing gear that I was telling you about. And on the other side of the uh, mountain, you can actually see that hey, crash plane. This is Cleo. Order derived. Perico, Angels 40, 10 mics. 
Composite 1-1 one, one, Tango Mike Papa, 2-5 Foxtrot, 0-5 Oscar. Uh, yeah, that was a boulder. Uh, I think the best way to get to the plane is between here. Yeah, I promised I'd show you, so um, uh, I actually promised I would show that yesterday, but uh, yeah, I didn't get around to it. I actually did forget about it until I watched some of my episodes back. Oh, this is not good. So let's do this. Over here, and should be yeah. See the smoke over there? Yeah, this is where the plane has crashed. And we got a juggernaut who's actually very angry that the plane crashed in his backyard or whatever. But yeah, this is uh, this is uh, the plane that I was talking uh, about a couple of episodes back. And. Um, yeah, it's it's in no shape. You, there's, it's not like GTA that you can actually fly a plane or whatever. But uh, since you were asking, um, yeah, here you go. It's a uh, it's a plane from Goodweather Air. I don't even think that's a real uh, airliner. Uh don't think so. But yeah, there you go. Um, now I gotta figure out. Yeah, I can probably get to the stranger in trouble like this. There's an angry juggernaut. Yeah, you're you're angry. I know. If a plane would crash in my backyard, I would probably just you know I'd probably be dead anyway. <laughs> my backyard is not that big, but uh, yeah. Yeah, you're talking about ammo. Uh, we we got lots of ammo. Don't worry about it. And we're we're making some as well. Yeah, I need to cut this field. Here we go. And we have a new uh, viewer. Welcome to my channel. Uh, uh, Weckenbeck, if I pronounced it correctly, he's asking if this game uh, can be played online. Uh, no, it's uh, it's a single player only. It, it 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 is uh, kind of similar to like uh, DayZ or H1Z1, but uh, yeah, this is not uh, PVP. This is uh, this is single player PVE. Yeah, I'm on my way, buddy. Uh, but yeah, you still uh, you still help out uh, other people as well, uh, and and they uh, they actually do stuff for you as well. So it is kind of like a a multiplayer feel to it. Uh, with the exception that, you know, it's just you. There's no, uh, no people that can actually, uh, you know, mess with your game and try to kill you, whatever. So, I hope that, uh, that was, a uh, uh, enough of an explanation. If you have any questions, of course, just, you know, feel free to ask. If there's something you'd like me to elaborate on, go ahead. There we go. Now, come on, sissy, are you done? No, there's still some zombies out there, aren't they? Yep. There you go. Ah, I missed. Yeah, I'm tired. Uh, so no, uh, your 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 question. This cannot be played online. It's single player only. Unless, of course, you mean if you have to be connected to the server. Uh, um, if that is your question, um, no, I don't think so. I don't think there really is like a, a server that is. Uh, is uh, your save game is stored locally and all so should you not have Xbox Live for whatever reason if you know Xbox is uh, 
holding maintenance or something, and you can still play the game. So maybe I misinterpreted your your zombie. question. Uh, I'm sorry for that. My English is really not that good as well. I'm from the Netherlands. Um, so yeah, like I said, I could have misinterpreted that. So forgive me for that. Uh, okay, so this survivor needs to go not all the way up there, right? We just take him home. Oh wait, here. Us. Yeah, I've seen that. Never mind. Uh, this is probably not one of the smartest ways to go to it, but I might flip the car. Oh well, we'll see. Ah, this looks good. Yep, this is good. All right. This looks like the place. Okay, that's all we needed. All right, now I'm really curious to see who's all in here. We got Timothy Tam, Jude Nieman, and of course the guy we just rescued. He's somewhere out here, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, still no Ray Santos. That's a bit of a bummer, but ah, uh, well, like I said, he might not even be on my RV for long anyway. If I find him more... No? Oh, come on. Really? Oh, sure, sure, sure. Just get off. All right. Oh, and I totally missed that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. Uh, the game is doing some funny shit. Um, I actually started out by going somewhere and all of a sudden there was this mission that I had to bring a, a, a survivor somewhere. I needed to bring somebody back and there was not anyone with me. And as soon as I went back to base, I completed the mission while I was being alone. It's, it's really weird. The game is doing some, some funny things today. Actually, I need to... Uh, Put in some meds. Get rid of the ward. Here we go. And we can start to see what else we need to do. Alright. Um Yeah, you can you can run. I don't care. Well since we're back at Spencer's mill, I don't know, I I think I still have some stuff in here, didn't I? Yeah, let's bring that back first. Let's 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 not forget about that first. So I'm gonna be really concentrated. Yeah, right. <laughs> Go do loader. I don't like loaders. Let's get rid of him. And level seven edge weapons. There we go. But yeah, let's bring this stuff back so I can actually uh, scavenge more. And is there any other mission right now? I don't think so. Maybe we should clear out some Sony infestations as well. Uh, it's one of the things I don't really like to do. Um, and sometimes it can actually be dangerous. So what I think about what I'm, what I'm going to do is, um, since I still have some survivors in my camp that I really want to get rid of, um, I think about, you know, maybe I should ask them to join me so we can work together and should they uh, get killed in the process during clearing in the infestations and, you know, it's not big of a deal. The only thing that I hope for is that none of the other missions will ping. Like uh, if I'm in the, in the area of a survey point and Lily calls, ah, let's do a survey. Uh, if a mission pings like that and I'm, I'm near, the mission will start and the survivor that I'm bringing with me will just go back home. Um, and that can be frustrating, especially if you're just, you know, uh, if, you, if you're uh, 
if you're doing stuff like that and uh, for instance the uh, Clio drop just uh, yeah supply drop that's, that, that's the one I was talking about uh, so I can show you right now look the supply drop is over here right but if you drive over here in a, either direction uh, that mission will start because uh, you're within the uh, the mission area and uh, that means that the survivor that you are bringing with you uh, will just get out of the car and just go home and, 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 and there's nothing you can do about it so that's just really really actually I should bring it around the other way that way I don't have to walk 20 down oh wow oh, my god <laughs> okay I hope there was not that much in there let's see real quick before it blows up Oh yeah, that was okay. Let's let's evacuate all this stuff. Uh, let's take these. Uh, oh man, uh, that's my luck. This this is how I play my games uh, always. Yeah, definitely. I I managed to get stuck uh, with Skyrim uh, between a mountain ridge and a tree. I can get stuck in Oblivion the same way. I can get stuck. Uh, in Fallout, uh, I can't. I get stuck in the most ridiculous ways, and uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, you know that that makes this fun. Uh, this channel so so much fun to watch. So, <laughs> so if you found my my channel by accident and you 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 like a good laugh every now and then, be sure to check out my channels and and follow me on uh, on YouTube as well and watch some previous episodes. Uh, s episode seven is hilarious. Um, yeah, I actually managed to get a, a car flying through a uh, horde and stuff like that. It's it's, it's really ridiculous. Uh, actually, what I should do is pop the snacks in the the grenade launcher car thing. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Let's do this. And uh, Callum says he is playing Fallout New Vegas right now. Um, I have played it. I I I actually managed to 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 get really really far into the story. Uh, oh, come on. Hold on. Yeah, I can offer somebody else a hand, but nobody's ha helping me out here. So what's, what's the story of that, Lily? Can you tell me that? I need a rest. Yeah, you need a rest too. See, that's what I mean. But yeah, um. I really got really far into the story and then my PlayStation crashed and I did not use the, the, the PSN save cloud yet so that was bye bye save game uh, yeah that that really uh, was a bummer um, I wanted to go to the wolf sword there we go and I still need to put some other stuff in here so must really concentrate on that right now. Let's put all the snacks in and get all the other stuff out. This one, this, and these weapons. Let's do that. I'm really not concerned about my uh, supply locker getting cluttered yet. Uh, I don't expect that for a while. Uh, but yeah, should it happen, the first things to go will probably be the shotguns and, and all the level 1 weapons that got stocked up in the meantime. So, yeah, there's always ways to uh, to prepare when that happens. It's no big deal. Not for me, anyway. Uh, this is 9 mils. I do not use 9 mils for this one, of course. Uh, so they should also be locked up. And then we're good to go. No, actually, I should bring some more medicine with me. Um, is there something else that I can bring? Homemade painkillers? Well, obviously, I, I don't want to use them yet. So, you just take one of the regular and bring aspirin instead of that. So, I can actually have three because I'm out of tucin. And get some snacks out again, and we'll be off.
Yeah, four should be enough. I still have some here. So yeah, that, that should be fine. All right, let's see. We got a mission combat training at home. Uh, yeah, actually, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start this training, but I'm not going to do it yet. I'll just bring them along on the uh, on clearing infestations. That's that's one way of using them as well. And this is Emilio Barrera. Um, he's, oh, hold on. Oh, two two times wrong buttons. I'm I'm really good with that as well. Um, is he? Yeah, he is part of us. Uh, chemistry and f gu uh, the fitness guru, asthma attacks. Yeah, should he die? It's not really think? that bad. I can teach you a thing. Let's go somewhere go. else. No point in drawing more of them here. But uh, yeah. So I I never I actually never finished uh, Fallout New Vegas. Uh, that being said, I don't think it's really that big of a deal. Uh, the things I've seen in Fallout 4. I mean, I'm obviously still wanting to finish it, right? All right. Oh shit! Let's get some practice in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Uh, this is what I mean when uh, missions ping or start when you're close. Yeah, let's just hope that I can still bring him. Otherwise, I'll just go back and ask him to join us. Let me go find more. Try not to attract too much attention. All right. Let's see. Oh, it's on the other side. Oh my God. Can I risk it? Can I take my car without pinging the mission? I think I can. And I think I just did. All right. Cool. We're off. But uh, yeah, I'm 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 really looking forward to Fallout 4. Especially because you can uh, build your own community and stuff. Um, yeah, I've seen some great stuff uh, at the E3 uh, presentation. Uh, this is not an infestation. Let's clear these out anyway. Just quickly. There we go. Yeah, let's go and clear out some infestations right now. Start with the police station over here. All right, that should do it. Don't let it get up. Can't see anything. It's too dark. Oh, come on. You can do better than that. Oh, it's really too dark. All right, let's try and see if we can fight outside. Oh, there's a screamer right here. Oh, come on. Oh, this is, this is going nuts. All right, snack up. Aspirin. And of course, get grabbed. That's how you play zombie games, right? Oh, come on. They're not doing anything. I mean, they're just growling at you. That's all they do. That's all they do. Oh, let's get rid of him right now. Oh, there was another one. Oh, cool. All right. Well, let's just... Oh, I didn't want to do that. Come on. No, 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 no. Don't get up. Exactly. Ah, yeah, clearing out the infestations, like I said, it's not always going as well as you would like to. Especially with my uh, condition being night blind. That really doesn't help. There we go. In all the paddock, I actually. There we go. I accidentally also turned off my flashlight. 
Good job, huh? And I'm stuck somewhere. There we go. Alright, that's one infestation cleared. Let's go to the next one. This one is just a really small one, that should not be a big of a deal. Here comes trouble. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, that's, that's really nice. All right. Yeah, I'll just help you right really quick right now. There you go. How about that? You like that? <laughs> I'm getting so tired of whining and all that. Oh wow, that's a very sturdy window. That is absolutely ridiculous. It's down. Finish it. There you go. Ah, this is not one of my best episodes. I can tell you that. <laughs> oh come on, I was already slashing at you. Come on. Looks okay for now. All right, Don't this one is stuck. done. Let's pop some aspirin, let's pop another snack, and let's go back into the action. We're clear. Ah, this one was easy. Alright, two more. There we go. This scar is about done anyway. Um, yeah, let's let's try. Let's try do it. Finish it off. <laughs> All right, screamer from this infestation is already dead as well. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, sure. Well, let's start across the road then. Let's go upstairs first. Oh, yeah, there is one over here. There you go. Oh, this sword is about done. Alright, I really don't want to break this sword. For obvious reasons. Yeah. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Come on, let's go, let's go. Oh, come on, guy. Really? Ah, uh, this guy is really gonna get me killed too. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's just go. Let's heal up, and get this guy straining them, and I'll just take care of him later. I don't care. And there's more infestations, so I'm not going to be doing that by myself then. I'm going to ask somebody to join me anyway. But yeah, this is... Uh, this is... Uh, an episode that's not really, really... a lot going on, right? Yeah, I kind of figured... Uh, you have these moments in here as well. There's actually... Belongings from Sophie. Did Sophie die? Really? I must have missed something. I don't know. Ah. Uh, 
Yeah, that's kind of weird. I've never pinged. Oh well, I might have missed it. I mean, I, I must say, I am tired. And it's because I didn't really get so much sleep last night. That's why I didn't get up until like 2 p.m. this afternoon. So, there you go. Repair. Place. Mm. Yeah, let's bring some coding. Pop one in. And go for the one and only. Where is it? I am not seeing the wolf sword. Ah, here it is. All right, let's go. We got Zed at nine o'clock. <laughs> Yeah, that's a big sword. Uh, like I said, I haven't really played The Witcher and it's been a while. I mean, I got it from the release, so that's how long I've uh, I've not played it. Uh, I only played it for the first two days, I guess. Just, you know, being busy with too many other things at the, at the same time. So, yeah, uh, if this is The Witcher 3 sword, I wouldn't have recognized it, but thanks to Colin. Uh, Callum, uh, who said it, uh, that this was from The Witcher 3. Thanks for pointing that out. And welcome to my new viewers. Uh, if you're wondering what the hell I'm ranting all about, about Wolf Swords and Witcher 3 and all that, I just uh, completed the, uh, uh, the monthly achievements, uh, which was called uh, Slasher Flick, uh, which gave me a little bonus, collectible blades, so I... I actually unlocked it with my uh, very first kill this uh, this episode, so if you want to check this episode out on YouTube later on, uh, you can see what happens. And uh, So I called in and got six new weapons. They were mostly uh, movie replicas from like Lord of the Rings and Blade and all the good, all those good movies. And the sword that I have right now is actually the sword from The Witcher 3. So oh, yeah, it's a it's a nice big ass sword. It handles really well. There's nothing worse than trying to take a shot with an empty magazine. Uh, but yeah, that's how I got the swords. And uh, good, you done? All right. Yeah, I think I'm gonna call this a, the end of my episode anyway, because yeah, I'm tired. Really, uh, I only got like maybe four hours of sleep at all total. Signs of survivor activity. Well, that has to wait until tomorrow. But uh, yeah, if you uh, if you enjoyed watching this, even though I was a bit tired and not really much has happened, uh, yeah, just watch back on my on my YouTube channel. You will see that uh, this is actually usually a lot more fun. Um, less boring as well. So, yeah, this this is uh, one of the least favorite episodes uh, as well for me. Uh, but yeah, what can you do? This it's not something that you could just you know uh, plan ahead. Uh, we got a stranger in trouble. He can wait. We have a scavenger there. I'm not really concerned about the scavenger. And I, I, I really can't remember that Sophie Benitez died. Armored Zed Hunt. Well, as long as we do not have any missing persons, and I am fine with it. Let's see if we can find Sophie died real quick. You know, famous, not good neighbors, blah, blah, blah. Um... You're in trouble, trade outsiders, supply run. Uh, not seeing it. And that's as far as it goes. Uh, 
Yeah, I might have missed it. I have to watch uh, this back. <laughs> Not tonight, though. Okay, but I will definitely check out this episode myself. See where it get, where it went wrong. Uh, like I said, this was a very uh, funny and glitchy episode. Uh, missions just completing by itself, just without anyone with me. Uh, it was really weird. So yeah, if you if you would like to check it out and 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 subscribe to my channel on YouTube, uh, YouTube.com/slash/MacDutch. And if you're watching this on YouTube and want to watch me live, I usually go online each day at 8 p.m. Central European time. Um, uh, but the, I have to say that I cannot always make it, so I might participate. Uh, 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 not participate. I might uh, uh, realize that I cannot make it at 8 p.m. Uh, that I'm, I might be busy. If that is the case, I'll try and record in the afternoons. Um, but yeah, usually I'll try to be there uh, at 8 p.m. And uh, you can check it out on twitch.tv slash MacDutch. All right. Uh, without further ado, um, I, w I would like to thank everyone for watching, for joining my channel on Twitch either on either on chit oh man see i am tired i need to go to bed <laughs> on on twitch or on youtube uh subscribe like my like my videos uh, if you have any questions put them in the comment section below and i will uh, hopefully see you with a more fresh me <laughs> presenting uh state of decay episode 11 so i hope to see you then uh, have a good one everyone see you later bye bye